Thanks for watching Forerunner TV. Let's go. Yeah, the star of the channel. That is a 2016 Forerunner that I purchased in September of 2015. This review is not paid. It is not sponsored. It is purely the thoughts of an original owner of a Trail Pro Model 4Runner. The Trail Pro model comes with a sunroof, faux leather interior, and a little bit of off-road gadgetry. The yeah, only modifications I've done to this is obviously I've had to replace the tires. Those are brand new Pathfinders. And uh, oh, by the way, I've also put Bilsteins or Bilsteins in all four corners and a leveling kit along with this running board and rock car, whatever you want to call it. There's a picture of the faux interior. Oh, let's take a look at the back seat. There's a Mr. Drone there, and of course, uh, the ubiquitous cooler and ice chest. Good to have when you're out here all alone. And as you can see, it's got ample storage for all the crap I like to tug along with me. Usually enough stuff just for survival for a few days, should things turn haywire. Uh, fuel mileage, we're getting about oh, 16 in the city, 18 to 22 on the highway, depending on how fast I push it. And you can see it comes with a class three trailer hitch. And take a look at the back, get a better view for you guys. Uh, Four-wheel drive, yeah. No, I put that on myself. Yeah. Obviously, it's plenty of room for storage. Uh, yeah, I even have a water filtration system. All my cold weather gears tucked in there. All kinds of really neat places and a lot of room to carry cargo. Uh, of course, I've got this uh, cargo cover concealment. Now, that doesn't come with the model. I actually had to purchase that separately. Seats fold down. And I tell you, that was one of the reasons I'd purchased the 4Runners because it was the one SUV that I could actually put the seats down and sleep in. Now, there's the speakers right there on the back gate. Uh, good for projecting off sounds, good for uh, tailgating. Back window on this tailgate does roll completely down, which is great for carrying things like carpet. Uh, long pieces of wood, which I've had to do multiple times. Uh, it acts actually like a pickup truck when it comes to hauling because of that back window. Take a look under the hood. Check this thing out. Look at that fake freaking intake. I don't know why they even bother put that on there. If you go put that on there, make it operate. But uh, I guess they did it for looks. Eh, no biggie to me. Standard 4 liter V6, probably the largest V6, I believe that's in production for a, a vehicle of this class. Oil cap uh, right there, pretty, everything's easy to get to, air cleaners right there. I've had zero problems with this engine. 54,000 miles, going on 55. Most of that was heavy commuting back in my working days. And now its main duty is that of recreational activities and exploration. And if you look underneath, you're going to see that this thing has been heavily used. I get that comment all the time from people that uh, do oil changes or tire rotations. Well, you sure do like the four-wheel drive that thing, don't you? Well, yeah, it's not a mall crawler, baby. And let's face it, Toyota has a bulletproof reputation for the most part, as long as you get the right vehicle. I'm thinking really hard right now what negatives I can give you to make this a little more dramatic. And unfortunately, the Toyota doesn't have a lot wrong with it. I mean, yeah, it could use a six-speed transmission. It could use a better infotainment system. I'm not sure how useful the four-wheel drive computer gadgetry is. But short of that, it does everything I need it to do, and I feel like it's not going to let me down, especially as a guy who travels solo quite often out in the middle of nowhere. As for the four-wheel drive gadgetry, the only item I've ever used is the rear electronic differential locker. 
I've gone through knee deep snow, mud, and ultra soft sand and have never once been stranded or needed to perform a recovery operation. I realize this review doesn't go in depth to some of the details of the Forerunner, but there are a lot of people out there that do those reviews and can give you that information. I just want to give you my personal thoughts of ownership on this model. We'll just keep using this vehicle and see how it holds up over time. Well, there you go, my friends. Thanks for watching Forerunner TV. This is Ruger. I'm your host, and you now have my a biased or unbiased review of the machine that makes the channel. This is a great adventure vehicle. It's great for hauling. Not sure I would tow a whole lot with it. It is quite heavy and we are still limited to that four liter V6 in the five speed. However, from what I understand, it tows uh, moderate loads quite well. If you have any questions or have Additional thoughts on this Forerunner, you can always reach me at runner, the number four, TV at Outlook.com. I'm your host, Ruger, and we will see you next time on Forerunner TV. Till then, take care, my friends.